Hey everybody, welcome back to Ascendant, and yesterday was kind of disappointing, mainly because we lost due to a bug, which is uh, not preferable, I'll say. Um, it, it happens, that's just kind of the way the, the game goes sometimes, but it's, all, it's, not, it's not my favorite way to lose. Um, I know, <laughs> I, the developers know about that bug. Um, I know that because Wirum actually told me, and I, I figured they did. It, it's been happening for a long time, actually. There was, like, no way to get back from some later levels in the Astral because that invisible wall would pop up. And I knew that that happened, but I forgot for that episode, and that's unfortunate. So... Oh well. 5% melee damage off the bat's pretty nice. And I'm playing Hanuman, just cause I ha I don't normally. And we might as well try some, some new stuff while we're playing. I just pre-ordered Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And I'm very excited to play that when it comes out. November 4th. Mark your calendars. So, most likely... Unless something happens in Runers and I, like, beat the game, I will be Let's Playing that when it comes out. Instead of, um... Yeah, this weapon's good. Instead of Ascendant, most likely. So, while we're playing this, I'm gonna have fun. I hope you guys agree with my decision. That kind of sucks. But there's health in this floor, so I'm not too worried about that. There we go. But yeah, it looks great. I'm excited. I played Binding of Isaac quite a bit in my past. Uh, more so than my uh, channel knows about. Because I, I only uploaded a little bit of my Let's Play of it. I have um, quite a bit more time than that logged at this point. But, um, yeah. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. Uh, we're going to fight our boss, the, the Maw. Hmm. We're definitely going to be okay. I mean... I haven't had trouble with early Maw in a long time, so... Okay, and one left. Okay, and our weapon is really strong, so... We're just going to... Kind of beat on the Maw until he dies. There we go. It's always nice to end with a, a big slime parry. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Occasionally grants a spirit upon room completion. Um, it's actually probably my favorite body slot of all time because it can, over the course of a run, it can single handedly win the run for you. So, um, now, the fact that we're going to get very little influence probably won't affect us that much because we can get uh, the spirits that we so desire from the shop just kind of out in the world. There we go. And that's very nice to me. I, I think that's a uh, magnificent happening. Hopefully it'll drop something good soon because, uh, so far, it's just kind of Hanuman with a better weapon, albeit, but not that much better of a weapon. Nice. Got a key. Luckily, we don't have to unlock anything yet. This is two damage less, but more stagger, faster swing speed, and chance on weapons and spell hits. You know what? I'm going to keep mine, because I think the increased blessing chance... Is it on hit, though? No, it just increases effect chance on blessings, so... Hopefully, that applies to Osiris. And using this weapon, in conjunction with it, we can... Get some sweet payouts. Okay. 
There we go. And... This way? Still no payout. I'll probably stop paying attention to it in a bit, so it'll stop affecting my commentary, but in the meantime, I'm very excited for it. Okay, five more influence. We're already at 25, so maybe in like a floor or something we can end up being able to go to our shop. Get up there. I want to impale this whole room onto these spikes. You two, come on up. Okay. And, oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, we're already up to 30. I don't think there's a hidden thing up there. We're not going to use our key on the shop until we're sure we can afford something. So we're going to leave that room behind. I think we have an event room waiting for us somewhere on this floor, so we might as well go check out and see if that is indeed the case. Damn. I like that he got stuck there. Very tasteful. Oh, he fell out. Alright. Well, I guess we didn't have a blessing room or event room waiting for us. And I guess we just go fight our boss, which is most likely... I don't know what it's most likely to be here. Burrower. It, it can only be Burrower. It's the fast Burrower as well. Okay. And there we go. Shamash. We'll go to our spells, because now they have a chance to deal double damage. I don't think we'll go back to get that health because I'm lazy. And this floor turned out pretty well for us. Double damage on spells is pretty nice. We got some decent influence. And I think that's about it, actually. We got two keys, I think. Early summer. We got the chance to get a new weapon on the last floor, but I decided to go with our old one because I believe, in my heart of hearts, that it increases our chance to get a spirit drop. Boop. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill him normally. Okay, another key. It's always kind of nice. Oh, and we have increased blessing effect chance for our spell double damage too, so everything turned out okay in the end. Okay. There's a chest up there that could prove very useful. Boom. Oh, we got the Taskmaster, which can tame flies. That's a decent upgrade. It's not the best upgrade, but it's uh, fun, at least. You get a bunch of minions by the end of the level. You don't have to actually kill all the flies. And uh, flies can be a good distraction sometimes for enemies, so... Alright. Attacks no longer flinch you. Heal a quarter heart after picking up a stat boost. Um... No. Gonna go with this. It's not often that I go with Gilgamesh's axe weapon, but I kind of like it right now. Funny that uh, that weapon we just passed up would have saved us a bunch of damage. Because we don't flinch while using the other one, and that shield, in turn, that shield wouldn't have flinched us and we could have gotten out of there before we took damage. Instead, I took dumb damage. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but, I'm gonna commit. Probably gonna die. Not gonna die, I guess. We can't even go back and get that, <laughs> that weapon, because it's too dangerous because it's along the spiked path. It's a little unfortunate. And we... I wouldn't feel safe fighting our boss. 
So we're gonna go ahead and explore the rest of the floor in hopes of finding a little more health for us. Ooh! Hey there! That was the best move I've ever made. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Oh, come on, give us some health. We almost have enough to make the shop worth it. Oh, that's nice. Awesome. Thank you, fly friend. Wonderful. An extra key for our trouble. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so the spikes are continuous all throughout this stage. There's influence somewhere. Where is it? We're almost at enough influence to make it the shop worth it. I need that, uh... That final bit. There we go. And, oh my god, one influence will make the shop worth it. And there's at least one influence on that last level, but it's over the spikes, it looks like. There we go. Nice. And we cleared out this floor, so... Hopefully this has something good in it. Uh, Zephyrus? Not super great, but it's okay. And if the shop has a bad... Um... Breath? Spirit? Spirit. If it has a bad spirit in it... I'm just gonna go ahead and buy any health that it has. And I don't think anyone would fault me for that. Because currently, I'm really low health. The Brave. What does the Brave do? It's Midas's spirit. Ugh. So, start from the end. Brave. Increased a ch chance on blessings and increased damage from blessing damage sources. I say we do it. Let's double down on the chance to spawn a spirit at the end of every room. I think... I think... It's gonna stack and help us out. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But that's sort of, that's sort of the thing in this game that I've never been too sure of. 100% is the percentile of the effects. Oh my god, Lee Grunty, we're so dead. <laughs> So, this is probably where my run ends. We survived somehow. That's probably the best fight I've ever had against uh, Late Grunty. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> um, I can't believe that just happened. I was the most focused I've ever been. I probably wasn't talking and there was a chance that I was breathing super heavily. Um, <laughs> speaking of breathing heavily, um, I listened to parts of my Legend of Grimrock video, which I started recording pretty late. Nope. Nope. Aren't gonna kill me like this. Okay. 
Please die. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you... Oh. Oh, it's a butt clencher. Thank you. I was hoping to tame that one. Okay. We have a quarter of a heart left. Get out of here. Oh my god. We got- Oh, we got an Armored Heart and the Spirit of Wrath. That's so good. Um, pick that one. 50% melee damage. Oh, everything's coming up great. Um, so we got one of the best spirits for endgame, which increases our damage against bosses, where the endgame of the- uh, The endgame is, like, all bosses, so... Oh. Oh, a health upgrade is so nice. We can only get so many of them as Hanuman and they're still useful, but we haven't gotten one yet, so... Oh, minimize. We all knew it would happen. There we go. Whew. Boom. And if I get one more spirit drop, I'm gonna feel so vindicated about taking all those uh, blessing effect chance ups. Get out of here. Vindicated, also a song by Hoobastank. <laughs> That's the- that is where I learned that word, and after I learned that word, everyone started using that word. And I don't even mean, like, my friends. I mean, like, I started seeing it all over books. Novels I read would use vindicated instead of correct and stuff like that. I don't know, maybe it was just the natural progression of my reading level while I was growing up, but it seemed weird. It, it's kind of the way life goes, right? Like, you've never heard of something before, and then suddenly, as soon as you've heard of it, it's everywhere. Were you just ignorant to it? And it was just, like, all over your life, and somehow you just never noticed that this one idea or word was all over the place? It's kind of like as soon as you think about getting a dog and how much you miss owning one, you, like, you see dogs all over the place. That is just how it happens. Like, um, as soon as Amber and I started talking about getting a corgi and how we want one, uh, we, we started seeing them all over in the public, which they're popular dogs, but I've never seen one being walked in real life before <laughs> until we started talking about them. Maybe I was just paying attention. Now, but... I don't know. It's weird. Life's weird, man. That'll work. And uh, hold on one second, my cat is attacking the curtains. I apologize for that. My cat can get a little excited by herself and just start 
messing with the curtains that aren't open. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I know that's a bad habit, um, getting up and helping my cat, but you know what? It's like, it's a part of cat ownership. You kind of have to make some sacrifices. <laughs> Especially when you're the only one awake in the house, and there's no one you can just be like, Hey! Stop that cat. Oh my god, she's back at it. If I have to go put her in the room, I will do it. Yeah, she's messed. Uh, hold on, I'm sorry. Midna! Okay, I'm back. Uh, I apologize for that I, once again. Um, not exactly the most professional <laughs> mid-video getting ups, but it's uh, it's better than letting my cat break our blinds. So that wouldn't look very good on our security deposit. <laughs> deposit now would it? All right. Okay. Oh, I don't think we got that one. Whoop. Our damage is kind of lacking right now. If I had to uh, speak my opinion truthfully. What did I... Okay. Sir, I have not attacked you physically. And I would like you to remain unshielded for the duration of this. Please don't poop fire. Oh. Well, I'm glad the fire didn't come up here. Well, it, it was up there, it just didn't stay up there. Boom. Okay, that's wonderful. Really? Let's try that out. <laughs> it looks kind of silly, and I know Osiris is really good on other slots too, but I was told in the in another episode where I was saying that, um, where I was asking if stacking on multiple room, on multiple blessings actually stacks the effect or increases the chance of it happening and uh, the answer was yes so um, I hope it applies to out of combat stuff and I hope we live long enough to figure it out there we go give us health oh no please die Yes. Don't die to alchemist. There we go. <laughs> go get him, fly. All right. <gasps> Oh, it happened. Brilliance. Spell damage up. That is wonderful. Ooh. You can just back right on up. Okay, we'll take one at a time. Now your friend. 
Okay. No. Thank you. That health could save us. Okay. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to that fly because I thought it was ours. Bad move. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> really scared now. Why does the shop have to be so far away? There we go. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> We're so close to dying. <laughs> and this is such a cool run, I don't want to lose it. That's wonderful. Damage enemies by 30% seems kind of nice. Okay, if we ever get another health, I will risk that. But in the meantime, we're gonna keep running towards our shop in hopes that it is not a blood shop and contains at least one health that we can use. Oh my god. No! Oh. Well, that sucks. 23 minute run. Um, you know what? Uh, that will actually end Descendant for the day. I apologize for the absence when I had to take care of the cat, but it's kind of a fact of life. But it is 3 in the morning where I am now, and it's time to go to bed. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more Hanuman runs in the future, let me know in the comments. And I actually, I think I'm going to do it regardless, because all of those blessing slots were nice. Um, but yeah, uh, if you, yeah, <laughs> this has been Bearded Narwhal, I'll see you next time.